Hey everybody, it is a Wednesday, December 16. Uh, we are continuing through our journey uh, through the Advent season uh, using a couple different devotionals and I'll be using a devotional today from the one year book of encouragement with a, uh, a writing from Henry Nowen, uh, Henry Nowen. Uh, but before I do that, sort of to set the tone of this particular devotional, I wanna read from the book of Ephesians. The final greeting uh, at the end of Paul's letter to the church in Ephesus, uh, he, he makes sort of one final, final greeting and benediction. And it's that greeting and benediction that I wanna read to us. It says this, starting with verse 21 in chapter six. It says that Tychius, the dear brother and faithful servant in the Lord, will tell you everything so that you also may know how I am and what I am doing. I'm sending him to you for this very purpose, that you may know how we are and that we might encourage you. Peace to all the brothers and sisters and love with faith from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace to all who love our Lord Jesus Christ with an undying love. Let me read that last part again. Peace to the brothers and sisters and love with faith from God, from our God and Father, from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace to all who love our Lord Jesus Christ with an undying love. Henry Nowen writes this. Nowen wrote numerous times about Rembrandt's painting The Return of the Prodigal Son. It spoke powerfully and personally to him. He says, with his son within his outreached, outstretched arms, fully safe, the father's expression seems to say, son, I'm not going to ask you any questions. Wherever you've gone, whatever you have done, whatever people say about you, you are my beloved child. I hold you safe in my embrace. I hug you. I gather you under my wings. You can come home to me. In prayer, we kneel before the Father just as the prodigal son did. Now one says that, in a sense, we are held against God's chest and we hear his heartbeat. In prayer, we're led to an inner place where we're safe. Jesus promised, if anyone loves me, he will keep my word and my father will love him and we will come to him and make our abode with him. Now in commenting on those words with amazement says, I can't believe it, I am God's home. Yet, how do we act in response to Jesus's call to make our homes in him as he makes his home in us? It's as if Jesus has sent us an engraved invitation with the instructions that God will make his home in us if we love him and keep his word. Sounds simple and straightforward, but what a towering challenge. We are invited as prodigals to come to the Father and finally to know that our sins and our failures are behind us. But the struggle here is not over. Our spiritual journeys are and sins and fail <laughs> our spiritual journeys are more like a rugged game of football than a stroll in the park. Jesus endured all for the joy set before him from Hebrews 12. The joy offered to us transcends any earthly reward. We are given the extraordinary invitation to come in prayer to the Father's embrace. I want to invite you to join me as we, as we take up this offer to go to God in prayer. Loving God, as we come to you in prayer, we recognize that we're safe. That in your arms and your embrace, we can find rest. We can find restoration. We can be rejuvenated, built up. We can be brought back into your loving presence. We can be given 
all that we need to be the people you've created us to be. Lord, today we come to you to pray for our world, for our nation, for our communities, and for ourselves. We think of people and places and situations that are in need of your redeeming love. Lord, we think of those who are sick today. We think of those who are caring for the ill. We think of those who are in places of despair, for people who are lonely, feeling abandoned or forgotten. Lord, we think of those who find it hard to to see meaning in life. Pray for those who are discouraged and disheartened. Lord, we pray for those who are weary today, who have endured a long, long journey and wonder if they can continue on for the exhausted. Lord, we pray for your endurance today. Pray for your peace, for your love, for your grace, for your hope. Lord, move in our lives. Build us up. Show us the glory of the kingdom that you have come to build in our midst. Help us to be a part of it. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Hmm. Well, friends, it's good to be with you today. I hope you have a great day today. Uh, God bless you. Take care, and we will see you soon.